Well, 2023 is speeding along and we've reached March already, so it's time to flip the page of the calendar to see what this month's beautiful bird is. Let's have a look. It's the wren, specifically the Eurasian wren. In modern English, the word troglodyte usually has negative associations. To call someone a troglodyte is to call them reclusive or primitive, out of date and usually brutish. It comes from the Latin for cave dweller. Why am I telling you this? Well, the scientific name for the Eurasian wren is troglodytes troglodytes. It has the unfortunate position of being called a troglodyte not once, but twice. However, there's nothing brutish about this diminutive bird. It is one of Europe's smaller birds, not as small as the goldcrest and certainly much heavier. It will still only weigh in at around 7 to 12 grams. It has rather short, rounded wings with a wingspan of only around 13 to 17 centimeters. One of its defining physical characteristics is its short tail, which is often cocked vertically. For such a small bird, it has a remarkably loud voice. It is said to be ten times louder than a cockerel on a weight-for-weight -weight basis. Just give this a listen. It can be found in any habitat that has plenty of insects and spiders for them to eat and suitable nesting sites. The wren favours crevices in trees and rocks, both for nesting and foraging, and this is where I suspect it gets its cave-dwelling name from, although it will also build nests in bushes, hedges and brambles. The male will build multiple dome-shaped nests made from moss, grass and dead leaves and other locally available materials. Females will tend to choose to mate with the males that have built the most nests within their territory. The female will select one of the nests to use and she will line it with feathers. Eggs are laid from April and a clutch will usually contain five or six eggs which are incubated by the female. Wrens are highly polygamous and the male will often have more than one female nesting within his territory and will usually have two or three mates during a season. The Eurasian wren is the only species of wren to be found in Europe although there are several species of wren found all over the world. Many of them look quite similar, so I hope the footage I've used for this video is accurate, and if some other species of wren has sneaked in, I hope you'll forgive me. Well, thank you to Fred from the YouTube channel Watch Our Wildlife, and Liam from the YouTube channel A Shot of Wildlife, for letting me use some of their wren footage, and I can be confident that they've given me the right species. Well, I'll leave links to both their channels in the description. Well, that's it for March's beautiful bird. I hope you'll return next month to see what has been named the beautiful bird for April. Of course, you won't have to wait that long for the next video, as there'll be more wildlife and nature videos on offer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do leave me a like and a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Well, I hope to see you soon. Until then, have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>